President, what you're seeing now here is the caudate nucleus. Can you see? So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do a little bit of violent movements. Just to this is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. This is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. Now, can you see this caudate nucleus here? This is the head of the caudate nucleus. This is the body of the caudate nucleus and it will curve down as the tail and medial to that is the thalamus. The internal capsule descends down like this and separates the caudate nucleus medially and the thalamus medially from the lentiform nucleus laterally. There. These are the white matter, subcortical white matter. I'm separating them now. And you can see the descending fibers of the internal capsule. The lentiform nucleus will be lateral. Good. Somebody was asking me yesterday, I showed that person. Who? Yeah, you were the person who were asking. Yes. So you can see this is the let thalamus, this is the chorate nucleus, this is the thalamus, internal capsule, lentiform nucleus. So these are the fibers of the internal capsule which are descending down. So I had to separate them to show you all these things. And then the During the time of development, the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus were together. That's why we call them the striatum. When the internal capsule started growing and descending down, it separated the caudate nucleus medially and the lentiform nucleus laterally, the putam and laterally. That's why we have some fibers still connecting them. That's the striatum. But most of it is split by the internal capsule, and that is what we see here. So this is. Incidentally, this shallow sulcus that you see between the caudate nucleus and the thalamus, this is called the sulcus terminalis, this one. And through this runs the stria terminalis, which connects the amygdala 